Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I've just decided to make a make a paint system for no reason whatsoever. So you're gonna be able to paint on the ground. Um, there's literally no reason for this whatsoever. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, I'm gonna make it filter enabled so other people can see it as well. So let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just let's just first off make a few offense in replicator storage. So let's make an offense folder. Offense. We'll just name it offense. That's what I'm gonna do anyway. There's, uh, I don't know what this could be used for, but I just decided I want to use it. So we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have place, uh, paint. There you go. There's a function for place and paint. Sick. Awesome. I love it. Okay, so it's only gonna, re um, we're only gonna make it record whenever the player is clicking down on the mouse. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead. I'm gonna do this inside of, <coughs> inside of player scripts right here. I'm gonna add just a local script. We're gonna call it main. Alright guys, so let's first, let's start off with getting the run service, so we're just going to make a local function, it's going to get run service. What can I spell today? No idea. Equals game get service, run service. And we're just going to do a quick loop here, so we're going to do run service, uh, dot render stepped, connect, function, uh, boop. Okay, there you go, that will loop now, we want to make a print just to make sure it works, so hello. And then you just go ahead and test. Okay, and you'll notice in the output, it's going to show hello, 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 hello. You don't need to add a wait to this because render step is a wait. It's the slowest, it's like the quickest wait you could ever get. Um, it just, it's just fast. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so let's go ahead and make a paint system. So we're actually going to do a mouse click. Let's get the mouse first. So actually, let's get the player. Local player in players. Dot local player. And then we'll get the mouse, so local mouse equals player.mouse. Then actually, no, I think get mouse. Alright, so let's just get player.get mouse. Oh, that's not how you spell mouse. Let's do a quick click function. So I'm going to do mouse dot button one down connect function. Uh, clicking ting. Click, click, and click a clicky click a ton. Click, click a ton. Click it. There we go. Uh, cl print. Click did did. Click a did. Okay, sick. So now when we click, you can you can see it says click it. Okay, cool. That, we've got, we're, that's what we're done. No, I'm joking. We're not actually done. Okay, so we've got it here. Uh, we've got this render step. We're just gonna go ahead and add painting here. So local painting equals false. This is gonna change the tree whenever the mouse is down. So painting equals tree, and then whenever they lift their mouse again when they stop clicking, it's gonna equal false. So stop. And then down here, we're going to just add uh, if painting equals false or in, equals true, sorry, then uh, this is where it's going to paint. So we need to just go ahead and just place paint. We're just going to go to game.replicated storage.defense.place paint fire server. And we're just going to send over the mouse.hit. Yeah, that's all we need. Sick. We can just we just close this now. We're gonna make another script inside server script service. It's gonna be the main main server side, so main server side. Okay, uh, local fence equals game dot get server the game dot replicated service replicated storage dot offense. Uh, and then we'll do actually gonna make that wait for that child in case it's not there. In our case it loads slowly. I don't know. It's good it's good to have offense dot place paint dot on server ser ser server event connect function and we're going to do the, the player he clicked it and the, the, the position the hit position easy now we need to just make a part so let's go ahead and do local new equals instance dot new alright let's go ahead and spawn a part and we're just going to put this in workspace and then we're just going to do new dot shape uh, equals enum dot shape I think I've never done this before at uh, part shape part type dot ball uh, okay new dot name equals ball sick that's pretty good new dot size equals let's go ahead and make it a factor 3 and then do factor 3 dot new let's just make it a 2 1 1 by 1 
Okay, I don't just need to do new pot C frame equals. Okay, so you do C frame dot new. And we need to do uh, is it hit position dot x divide by two. Then we need to do hit position dot y plus new dot size dot y. Divide that by two. And then for the last one, we just need to do hit position uh, dot y. That should work. Let's test it. I, I, awesome. Awesome. They don't go to the right place. But awesome. It kind of works, I guess. They're also not anchored. Let's make them anchored to begin with. New dot anchored equals true. Now let's figure out why they're not going to the right place. Okay, so why they're not going to the right place is because I put Y instead of a set at the end because I'm a little bit dumb. But that's fine, we sorted it. Um, so let's just, it will work now, you see? I'm painting, I'm painting, I'm painting, I'm painting. It's a bit off. I guess we could sort that. Maybe it's because of the divide by two here, so we just fix that. I don't think we need to divide by two. And that should fix it, yeah. All of a sudden we're, we're, we're a good painter. Ah. Well, we're done. This is it. Well, I mean, you could you could change the color. Let's just make it random. Let's just do a new dot or new dot brick color equals uh brick color dot random, and then that should just change the color for me. You know, and that that's it. That's done. Honestly, it's wow, wow. Wow. Okay, you've learned how to paint. Uh, thank you. This has been Bob Ross, and I'll see you guys in the next one.